so let's get it going. I'm excited. Why? Because you're 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 popping. You're famous. Not yet. <laughs> okay, so we're back with another another six views. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Gutsy Guts who does six views uncut. I was explaining to you off camera how we got a bunch of different shows that we do on the network over here. And um, I'm pretty excited because the guest that I have here has helped our channel to really blow up from when we first started. I don't know if you know this. No, like I have <laughs> talked to a few, but like at this point, they're like scared. Okay. To, like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your first video that we did on Six List is one of our most popular pieces of content on the channel to this date. And That's lit. part two. Those girls that slept with girls. Guys that have girlfriends, but like now I don't give a fuck because these girls are stupid, so. The one that we did at the other studio. So for the people who are just tuning in now, you know, checking out the YouTube, um, there's some rappers that are probably at home right now punching the sky like, why the fuck is not me? But we got Sagittarius shoddy in the building. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, Saggy? How are you feeling? Drunk. <laughs> lit. I'm lit. Yo, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming through. Eh? No problem. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like I was saying in the beginning, you're lit. You know what I'm saying? Over the years, a lot of people have seen you. They maybe had like, oh, you're the girl who exposes mans. But that shit has been like way back. Yeah. That was time ago, actually, too. Yeah. Now you're like a big YouTuber in these YouTube streets. I don't know. Like, they just really liked me. And like, they started like helping me with shit and everything. Like, I don't know. There's... You know what I'm saying? So... Okay, let's 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 get to now because we're in COVID season, right? Yeah. And you know, you do YouTube videos, you do your thing, like you're on OnlyFans, you're doing a bunch of things, but like how has the COVID affected you? Is it been better? Bro, or worse? It's been good for my bank account. Cause like people wait, are we off? Okay. It's been good for my bank account because like now like people are at home, like they're not working. They have more time to tune into my videos. So like my views have like been going up. Mm. And even, like, you started your YouTube channel, like, what, almost two years ago now? Yeah. What inspired you to start a YouTube channel in the first place? Um, Literally, someone was just like, yo, you're funny as fuck. You should make a YouTube. And I was like, oh, shit, true. So I made one then for fun to, like, tell my story because, like, I was doing it on, like, live all the time. And they're like, yo, make a YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what kind of things are on your YouTube channel on average? It's just a bunch of ho shit i don't know <laughs> it's like story times and like it's, it's literally a majority of it is me linking up with mans mm. not really you do yeah. a lot of different things I, i'm literally like okay well my most popular videos are the tinder vlogs and if you're wondering what hair color i use i'm not gonna tell you because don't copy me mm. 15 abdies hmm? 15 abdies as well Oh yeah, my whole rules and my my train experience that was that was booming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what about the halls? You do halls. You do a lot of different shit. Yeah, but mukbangs, all those different things. I stopped doing that. There's too much <laughs> health experts in the fucking comments. Oh man, and like I remember when you first first started doing your YouTube, you posted your earnings, eight hundred dollars. What? Your first YouTube earnings, the oh, first yeah. time. Oh yeah. Wait, how'd you know that? I. I I do research, man. <laughs> People doesn't mind know how much money I make. Oh, that's fuck. No, you posted this the first time. Oh, shit. The first, first time. I remember. I literally. Yeah, that was lit. So how do, how, what was that feeling like to get a, like a transfer and it's like eight bills from YouTube first time? It felt good. Like really good. Like, cause I'm, I'm used to just only making money in the telly. So like. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let's see here. Um, from our last combo, you started getting more tattoos than the rappers. What do you mean? You got more tattoos on your face than the average rapper. They're these addicting, days. and I have been obsessed with face tattoos for forever. So uh, let's go through your tattoos. Explain the different tattoos you got. You got the crybaby. Okay, this I honest to God did not know that little people. I didn't even know who little people was when I got this. I mm. swear to God. This one, it's just, like, a broken heart because, like, I'm depressed as fuck. Like, whatever. Mm. And then I have Psycho right here. 
And I have like a couple free tattoos that I got from someone downtown. Mm. What about on your hands? What's what's going on with the stuff on your hands? I have Medusa and then the Eye of Horus. Nice, 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 nice. So like, what made you start getting the tats in the first place? I don't even know. I, Cause like my first tattoo was these ones. Show me the nose again. Lose soul. lost souls. Lost souls. My bad, my bad. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so why did you get that one? Because I'm a lost soul. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My tattoos are literally, literally just for show, basically. Yeah, you, so you don't have any like no. personal connections to them? No, I just wanted to look like... I want to be tatted up. Like, I want to be, like, super tatted. Hey, what? You were never inspired by the rappers and stuff like that, watching them, and you're like, fuck it. I can get... I'm harder than you, motherfuckers. Um... You know Alex, like, Trippy Red X or whatever? Mm-hmm. Her face tattoos actually inspired me a lot. Mm. So, yeah, I just, like, I wanted a face tattoo, like, because hers is dope as fuck. Yeah, yeah. And even with, um... Like, let's not get into some music, just random music. Mm-hmm. Like, because, like, even though you're not from Toronto, mm-hmm. you're like, pretty much in the Toronto scene. Yeah. And I see you listening to music. I see you, like, sometimes reposting people in your stories and all that. Yeah. So, for the people, what Toronto rappers are you fucking with? Uh, Come Down. Mm. I love them. I don't like Fiji, but um, uh, let's see. Why don't you like Fiji? Stop right there. He's a rapist. Ooh. Continue. <laughs> yeah. So um, there's them. I fuck with their music. Um, I listen to Smiley a lot. I listen to when I was getting pimped out. I used to listen to Biz Loke. Like the man, the pimps I was fucking with were always bumping him. So I was like, yo, this is sick. That's and then uh, Robin Banks. I fuck with his music heavy. K Money, Casper, GGC, like mm. all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, give me a Toronto rapper that's been in, in your DMs before. What? The, what do you mean in my DM? Like, yo, Saji, I'm trying to holler. I can't do that. <laughs> no, he literally <laughs> told me that if I ever told anyone, he would look come to my house and like kill me. Wow. And he's in the streets like that, so. And this is a pop in Toronto rapper? Yeah, everyone knows him. He's on Six Buzz all the time. Mm. I feel like I can narrow it down, but I won't try today. <laughs> <laughs> like, if we started off as homies, and, like, when we linked up, I was like, like, oh, I didn't. linked up already. What do you mean? Like, we felt. What? <laughs> Whoa. Well, we don't know who it is. Okay, yeah. No, we linked up. He was in my city and like he pulled up and like he was like, because we talk like all the time. Like we're like, he's like, yo, like he always checks up on me, whatever, whatever. Like a lot of, okay, a lot of Toronto rappers do message me on some like, yo, I respect you type shit. Yeah. But um, like he, we were like friends and then he was in my city, he pulled up on me and um, then we ended up smashing and like I didn't even know it was like that because he's never flirted with me a day in my life. Right. But the reason I did it is because my ex was like, oh, that he would never fuck you. Da, 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 da. So mm. I was like, bet that I'm going to do it. The revenge fuck. <laughs> hey, well, people, the people in the, in the viewing audience, y'all could try to narrow it down yourselves. We're not going to reveal who that is here today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unless you want to. I would never. <laughs> I, I value my life too much and I respect him too much. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. We, we ain't going to try to out no rappers today. We're going to do more of a, I want to get more, because I feel like a lot of the times when people try to talk to you or whatever, they're like, let's just get you to say something salacious and say something crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't think a lot of people get a chance to really get to know who Sagittarius Shadi, like the person is. All right. I'm just some hoe. <laughs> well, people will people will say that, right? Yeah. But I feel like you got a lot more layer than you than that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, you went to jail last year sometime for a few months, this right? Year. This year. This year. Yeah. It was this year, right? Yeah. Fuck. And it was for, you had like an assault charge. Okay. So, Me, I've been getting arrested for assault since I was 16. Mm-hmm. That was not my first time going to jail. It was my first time actually doing really like a long time, like mm-hmm. a long age time. Um, but I just have anger problems when I'm drunk, which is why I'm trying to quit drinking. 
<laughs> like soon yeah. it'll come um but yeah like uh these girls okay this happened to me everywhere i go mm. girls will literally try to fight me whip up their phone just to get a little one two cloud off me mm. but these girls like i wasn't even arguing with them it wasn't even me that they had beef with it was my friend sure. and this girl comes and pops me in my face and like throws me to the ground whips off my wig i got up i took my pepper spray out and i pepper sprayed her in the face Wow. Then she runs off crying. Then her friend comes and dead does fucking just put, start punching me in my face. So I took out my pepper spray and I literally almost emptied the whole thing out on her. That's crazy. Then they called the cops on me. The cops come and they're arresting me. And I was like, I'm defending myself. Then I assaulted them. So wait a minute. You started, to f they started to fight, but they called the cops on you? They started to fight with my friend. I was sticking up for her because there's a big group of girls coming at her and I'm not with that shit. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yo, you guys need to shut up, like back off, like leave her alone. And they yeah. literally just started fighting me. That's crazy. And obviously they took out their phone. They put it everywhere. Then they called the cops, gave statements. Wow. Like, and got me put in jail. That's some whack shit. So, <sighs> wow. <laughs> What was the experience like? Because I know I've heard you talk about it on your YouTube channel, mm -hmm. but like for our audience here, right? Like what was one of the craziest things that happened to you or you've seen while you were there? Uh, there was people dying like almost daily. Mm. Uh, girls in cells overdosing daily, uh, trying to kill themselves. What? It was like... I don't even know. And there was uh, girls getting jumped. Like I seen like all the like things they would make for weapons mm -hmm. and like stabbing girls in the bathroom. Yeah. I like ended up like friending up like the main bitch that was on range. Mm -hmm. So like I didn't have any problems. Not yeah. only that, everyone literally said like, like they would be like, oh, like you sound so sweet. I was expecting you to be like, yo, like, but I wasn't. They were like, like, cause your face tattoos and everything, you look like you would be about that life. And yeah. I was like, no. You're just chilling. I was literally the only girl in there that wasn't, that didn't do math, that wasn't snorting, like, they were it right beside me in the cell. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then we would have strip searches daily because of that. And my ass is like, well, I didn't do shit, so why the fuck am I getting, having to bend over and squat, like. <laughs> what do you think that you, is your biggest learning experience that you got from being in that? How long were you gone for? 40 days. 40 days? Mm -hmm. Okay, so a little baby bit, as they call it. You know what I'm saying? So what do you feel that you learned from that from that experience? I learned that I really like being sober mm -hmm. and that I want to stay the f out of jail. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I need to stop assaulting cops. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. Mm -hmm.